I'm going to add an, a file to the top region here. So I'm going to my computer and I'm grabbing this one and sticking it over there. Now that has been sorted by Moodle. It's been placed into the correct folder and it should be easy for me to track it. Now let's say I want to add that same file to another course or another teacher wants to use it and hasn't got access to your desktop. Well here's a way to do it. Right, I'm in another course now and I want to add that same file here. Well obviously I can just drag and drop it. Let's say I didn't want to do it that way for some reason. Maybe it's a very large file and I don't want to have multiple copies of it. Well, what I do then is I add a resource file, add I need to enter the name then I go down to the file area and go to the file picker which is click add in the top corner. Now the file picker will open up wherever you were last so I'm now going to go to the server files and you'll see this is an incredibly well organized structure. So at the moment it's opened up the course I'm in but I know that that other file was put into the science so I open up that and it was into the mechanics and then you find your way to the actual resource folder so here's the resource folder online course instructions and there is the file so what you do is you just click on the file create an alias or shortcut in other words any changes made to the original file will also be reflected here and go select this file. You will then see a little arrow there which tells you that it's a link or an alias, it's not a copy. Should anything happen to the original file, let's say someone deletes it, it's not a problem, this gets converted to a copy. If these were your files then private files would certainly be the way to go, but if it was another teacher sharing a file with you then this is the only way to do it.